In this lesson, we want to look at determining where the three points are the vertices of a right triangle. So in our last lesson, we learned about the distance formula. This formula allows us to calculate the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane. And basically, we derive this formula from our Pythagorean formula. Okay, This relates the sides of a right triangle. Again, if you have a right triangle like this guy right here, again, you know it's a right triangle because of this 90 degree angle here then essentially the Pythagorean formula relates the sides of a right triangle. So you have these two shorter sides, which are called legs, and then you have the longest side, which is opposite of the 90 degree angle, which is your hypotenuse. And essentially it tells us that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now we can basically use this guy here to come up with a distance formula to find the distance between this point and this point when the two legs are known. Right? So if you know the two legs, which are easy to find kind of on a coordinate plane, then you can easily find the distance between two points, which would be your hypotenuse. Okay, So to kind of summarize here, we found that the distance between two points, we label it as D, it's equal to the square root of, you have X sub 2 minus X sub 1, that quantity squared, then plus you have your Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1, that quantity squared. Okay, What we can do here is if we're given three points, okay? So let's say there's a point here, and let me kind of do this in a different color. So let's say there's a point here, here, and here. If it's true that we have a right triangle, then the distance for this guy right here, for leg A, if we square that, plus the distance for this guy right here for leg B, if we square that, should be equal to the distance of the hypotenuse squared, okay? So we know how to get the distance between any two points just using this distance formula. Okay, so let's look at an example. So we want the three points here. We have them labeled as A, B, and C. So we have 2 comma 4, negative 1 comma 0, and 2 comma 0. We want to know if these are the vertices or the endpoints or the corners of a right triangle. So what I need to do is look at the distance between each pair of points involved, okay? So basically, the longest distance that I get, if it's a right triangle, would be my hypotenuse. So I would square the two kind of shorter distances. I would sum those amounts, and it should be equal to the longest distance that I have, or the largest distance squared, okay, if it's a right triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find three distances. I'm going to say distance 1, I'm going to say distance 2, and I'm going to say distance 3, okay? So first, I'm going to do the distance between A and B. So I'm going to say this is going to be the distance between A and B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, again, these two points here, and I'm going to use my distance formula. So the distance formula is what? It's the quantity X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared plus the quantity Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 squared. And again, we're taking the square root of this, and this would give me my distance between those two points. So I'm just going to plug in here, and I'm going to label this as X sub 1, Y sub 1. I'm going to label this X sub 2, Y sub 2, okay? So I'm just going to erase and just kind of plug in. For X sub 2, I have negative 1. For X sub 1, I have 2. For Y sub 2, I'm going to have 0. For Y sub 1, I'm going to have 4, okay? So if I run through this real quick, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Square that and you get 9. And then 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Square that and you get 16. If I sum 9 and 16, I get 25. The principal square root of 25 is 5. Okay, So the distance between these two guys here, A and B, is going to be 5. Now, let's do a distance 2. And we're going to say this is the distance between, let's say, A and C. So A and C. So again, I use my distance formula. So the square root of, you've got x sub 2 minus x sub 1, that quantity squared, plus you've got y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that quantity squared. Okay, so for x sub 2, let me kind of label this guy over here. I'm going to say this is x sub 2, y sub 2. So for x sub 2, I'm going to say that's 2. For x sub 1, I'm going to say that's 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 squared is 0, so you just get rid of this. Then for y sub 2, I have 0. For y sub 1, I have 4. So basically, I have 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. So the square root of 16 is 4. So this guy's going to be 4 right here. Now, for the distance 
three, I'm going to say the distance between what? Well, I need to do B and C now. So B and C, okay? So what's that going to be? Let me kind of slide this over and say this is now X sub one, Y sub one. So again, it's the square root of, you've got X sub two minus X sub one, that quantity squared. So two minus a negative one, two minus a negative one, that amount squared, two minus negative one is two plus one, two plus one is three, three squared is nine. So this is gonna be nine. And then plus, you've got your y sub two, which is zero, minus your y sub one, which is zero, that quantity squared. Zero minus zero is obviously zero, zero squared is going to be zero. So you can get rid of this. Square root of nine is just three. Now, the largest number is five. So if this is a right triangle, this guy would represent my hypotenuse, and these two guys right here would be the shorter sides, the A and B. So it would be true that three squared plus four squared is equal to five squared if these are the endpoints of a right triangle. And you see that works itself out. So this is gonna be true, right? We're gonna end up with a three, four, five right triangle. Three squared is nine plus four squared is 16. If you sum these, you do get five squared, which is 25, right? You get 25 equals 25. So these are the endpoints for a right triangle. All right, let's take a look at a few more of these. So we have these points here, A, B, and C. So you've got negative two comma five, 12 comma three, and 10 comma negative 11. Again, we wanna find out if these are the endpoints or the corners or the vertices of a right triangle. So again, all I wanna do is find the distance between the points. So my first distance, I'm gonna say this is the distance between A and B. And then my second distance, I'll say that's the distance between A and C. And then my third distance, I'll say that's the distance between B and C, okay? So let's kind of crank this out really quickly. I'll just kind of set this up in each case real fast, and then we'll go through and do it. So for the first kind of situation we have, we're looking at the distance between A and B. I'll go ahead and say this is X sub one, Y sub one. And I'll say that this is X sub two, Y sub two. So if I just plug in, x sub two is gonna be 12, and x sub one is gonna be negative two. So this would be plus two, right? Net minus a negative is plus a positive. For y sub two, I'm gonna have three. For y sub one, I'm gonna have five, okay? So if I crank this out, 12 plus two is 14. 14 squared is 196. So you've got 196 here. And then three minus five is negative two. Negative two squared is gonna be positive four. So 196 plus four is 200. The square root of 200, so we know that the square root of 200 is not a rational number, but I could simplify this. 200 is what? It's two times 100. And I know that the square root of 100 is 10. So I can say this is 10 times the square root of two. So I'll put that this is 10 times the square root of two. Okay, let's move on to the distance between A and C. So let's kind of slide this over and say that this is x sub two, y sub two. So for x sub two, I'm gonna plug in a 10. For x sub one, I'm gonna plug in a negative two, so this would be plus two. For y sub two, I'm gonna plug in a negative 11. For y sub one, I'm gonna plug in a five. So 10 plus two is 12, 12 squared is 144. So this is 144. And then negative 11 minus five is going to be negative 16. And negative 16 squared is 256. So this is plus 256. If I sum 144 and 256, I get 400. So the square root of 400 is 20. So this would be 20 here. Okay, so now let's talk about the distance between B and C. So I'm just going to kind of slide this over. So for X sub two, I'm gonna have 10. For X sub one, I'm gonna have 12. And 10 minus 12 is negative two, negative two squared is four. So let's go ahead and do that. Y sub two is going to be negative 11. So this is negative 11. Y sub one is gonna be three. So negative 11 minus three is negative 14. If I square negative 14, I get 196. So four plus 196 again is 200. And we already know that the square root of 200 is gonna simplify to 10 times the square root of two. Now. Let's go ahead and show that if we have a right triangle, again, we know that 20 is the biggest number here, right? So this would be the hypotenuse if this was a right triangle. So it would have to be true that this guy squared, so the 10 times the square root of two squared 
plus, again, your 10 times the square root of 2 squared would be equal to 20 squared. So is that true? Let's kind of scroll down and get some room going. So if I square 10, I get 100. If I square the square root of 2, I get 2. So this would be 100 times 2, which is 200. So you basically have 200 plus 200, which is 400. Is that equal to 20 squared? Yes, it is. 20 squared is 400. So we can say that these three points, we had negative 2 comma 5, 12 comma 3, and 10 comma negative 11, are the vertices of a right triangle. All right, let's take a look at one more problem. So we have A, B, and C here for our points. A is 4 comma 1, B is 2 comma 4, and C is 0 comma 2. So again, what I want to do is find the distance between each kind of pair of points. And to do that, I've already kind of written it. So let me just paste this in. I'll put this over here, just save us a little bit of time. So our first distance will be the distance between A and B. The second will be the distance between A and C. And the third will be the distance between B and C. So all I got to do is just kind of label things and then plug in. So I'm going to label this one as X sub 1, Y sub 1 to start. I'll label this as X sub 2, Y sub 2. So I'm going to start with the distance between A and B. So for X sub 2, I can erase this and put in A2. For X sub 1, I can erase this and put in a 4. Over here for Y sub 2, I can put in a 4. For Y sub 1, I can put in a 1. Okay. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is going to be positive 4. And then 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So 4 plus 9 is 13. So this would end up being the square root of 13. So square root of 13. Okay, so now we're looking at the distance between A and C. So let me erase this, and I will put this as X sub 2, Y sub 2. So for X sub 2, I've got 0. For X sub 1, I've got 4. And then for Y sub 2, I've got 2. And for Y sub 1, I've got 1. So 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. So this is 16 here. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is obviously 1. So 16 plus 1 is 17. So this would be the square root of 17. So square root of 17. Then lastly, we want the distance between B and C. Let me kind of erase this. I'll do this as x sub 1, y sub 1. So for x sub 2, I've got 0. For x sub 1, I've got 2. For y sub 2, I've got 2. And for y sub 1, I've got 4. Okay, so we just crank this out. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So this is 4 here. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is, again, 4. So you've got 4 plus 4, which is 8 here. So this would be the square root of 8. Okay? Now, I can simplify the square root of 8 because it's what? It's the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. I could write this as the square root of 4 times 2. The square root of 4 is 2, so you could write this as 2 times the square root of 2. Okay, just to make it simple. All right, so what's the largest kind of value that we have here? That would be the hypotenuse if we had a right triangle. Well, the square root of 13 is approximately 3.61. The square root of 17 is approximately 4.12. And 2 times the square root of 2 is approximately 2.83, okay? These are all irrational numbers, so you can't get an exact value. But if we approximate it, it's, it gives us a good idea of what would the largest one be. Obviously, the square root of 17 would be the clear winner. So this guy right here should be the hypotenuse if we have a right triangle, okay? So what I'd want to do, because this guy right here and this guy right here, those would be the legs, right, if we were working with the right triangle. I would take the square root of 13 squared. Then I would add that to 2 times the square root of 2 squared. And I would say, does this equal the square root of 17 squared, okay? So let's scroll down and get a little bit of room going. Square root of 13 squared is obviously 13. Then plus 2 times square root of 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Square root of 2 squared is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So this would be 13 plus 8, which we know is 21. So this is 21. Does that equal the square root of 17 squared? No, it doesn't, right? Square root of 17 squared is 17. And I forgot to put a 1 there. So this is 21, and this is not going to equal 17, right? We can put this as false. So this tells us that basically these are not the vertices of a right triangle, okay? So these points that we had, 4 comma 1, 2 comma 4, and 0 comma 2, they're not the vertices or the endpoints or the corners of a right triangle.